Kia ora whanau, kia ora everybody. Um, this is an unscheduled uh, uh, broadcast before my awesome meeting tonight in Wellington. Uh, very excited to uh, to be here, of course, and um, we're at Rutherford House on Lambton Quay down in Wellington tonight at 7.30, so this is the quiet before the storm. Um, this is an unannounced um, broadcast, and I'll tell you why in a second. But first of all, I just want to say congratulations to uh, Sue from the Outdoors Party uh, for doing such a great pre submission today at the at the uh, at the beehive we're all there this afternoon um on the effects and uh and harmful effects in, uh, of 5g and also the fact that this government is hi hiding the effects um of of the damage that 5g can cause us okay as humans and we've also discovered today that they've amended the laws and redefined the word health effects or the words health effects to suit their um their definition okay because normally when you use health effects in in the uh, in any other legislation, it means exactly that health effects, and these are what they are. They're quite broad. Anything that'll hurt a human, but not so with the 5G. These guys have rewritten a law which basically says they've redefined health effects as being something a way lot a way lot uh, less broad as that. It's very very narrow, and it suits their narrative so that they can get these 5G technologies rolled out, rolled out across New Zealand. If I sound upset, I am. I've seen a couple of things today. Number one, the the, the Labour MPs in um, at the at the meeting that we attended this afternoon, the the example of contempt that they have for ordinary New Zealanders has got me really, really, really angry. Frankly, um, I had a bee in my bonnet any, anyway, as many of you have seen me speak and and been to my uh, public presentations know that I that I I care deeply and I'm passionate and that I was concerned. Now I'm really angry. They have such contempt for us New Zealanders. I can't believe it. Now, the other thing that greatly concerns me is that it's been announced today, and we knew this a few days ago, but I couldn't, I couldn't announce it to you guys, is that Jacinda Ardern's government has announced that the quarantine management has been taken out of the hands of the police and given to the military. This is military law. Please absorb this. This is not North Korea. This is not China. This is not Soviet Russia. This is New Zealand Aotearoa. This is our Kiwi land. And she has signed off on a decree. That means the military can now enter your home as soldiers. Now, I've been a soldier. You, know, you guys know this. And, um, and the idea of being a soldier and deployed to go into the homes of New Zealanders it would never have crossed my mind 18 years ago. This is now a reality. This is what this government is doing to us. And are we going to sleep through this? No, we're not. We're not going to do that, Fano. We're not going to roll over this time. We need to wake up, New Zealanders. We need to wake up. We need to wake up everyone. People don't really understand yet what, what's happening. Frogs don't understand that they're boiling to death in the pot until their skin drops off them. And this is what they're doing to us. They are boiling us alive, and many don't even know it. You're going to need to share this, because this is worrying. This government is tyrannical. Jacinda Ardern is not a smiling, lovely, young Kiwi lady that we would all wish she was. You need to please take this on board. I'm calm. I'm collected. I'm factual, but I'm freaking angry because this should not be happening in our, in our beautiful fair land. So please, guys, share the word about the New Zealand Public Party your voice, we are going to speak about your concerns, which are our concerns. We're going to get into Parliament and we're going to, we're going to shout it loud at them. Okay? Because being on the outside of government and taking your concerns and submissions to the government is just the most condescending process I've ever seen in my life, where they sit there waiting for you to finish so you can leave and they can go home and laugh at you. That's what I saw today. I saw great people. I saw a professor argue about the potential harm effects um, of uh, harmful effects of um, 5G and you know they didn't care Willow Jean Prime from up north where I live didn't look really look like she could give a give a hoot Greg O'Connor former policeman yep nah and some guy called Alastair Scott was the most obnoxious looking stuffed up politician of it, I think I think I've ever seen probably the only other guy probably would have been uh, John Key so this is not, as I say, this is not about left, this is not about right, this is about truth, our democracies and our freedoms.
and protecting each other. As we said the other day, love is what's going to beat this. Love for each other, our freedoms, this country. Because believe me, Jacinda is out to take it all off us. I've seen it today. This announcement about the military now being empowered to go into your homes and my homes is something that is just certainly next level. I knew last week we had um, information given to us that the New Zealand military defence force has been training for public unrest in New Zealand. We knew about it. I wasn't going to mention it until it was verified because as I say to you, be factual. Be calm, be factual. I couldn't verify it. Now I can. The cat's out of the bag. The cat's out of the bag. So you guys need to make a choice. Are we going to stand together as one family? As I keep saying to everyone, this is not about race, religion or creed. This is about all of us as Kiwis binding together to beat this. One last thing before I go so I can prepare for my meeting in uh, Wellington tonight is this. To the trolls that troll me, I want you to understand two things. That photo, again, with me with at the UN in uh, 2016 is me trying to find funding to hold a Māori event in New Zealand as a private businessman with my other Māori colleagues. We never were a part of the UN, it never will be, and I stand hard against the UN. In fact, my whole premise here is to defeat Agendas 21 and 30. Number two, the other, the other photo of me speaking at a Chinese event in 2017 was again about the Māori economy and how much we need we needed to uh, stand our, uh, on our own two feet and do business as our own economic sector. And I'd do that today, because that's what we need to do. But we need to do it for the entire economy. We now need to fix this, because if we don't, then it's, it's, it's gone as well. Now, I found out today from a great friend of mine who's an economist said that, that we've actually ran out of government bonds to cover our debt. Do you know what that means? i tell you what that means. That means the government can no longer rely on its own reserve bank to borrow money. It means they have to rely on the commercial banks now to do the lending at a zero rate. That ain't going to happen. Why? Because the commercial banks are there to make money. So guys, you need to think about all this stuff. So please, if you haven't already, go to, the, to our website, www.nzpp.org.nz. Sign on and be a member. Spread the word about us and know, know that we're here to fight for you. I've got great people behind me that are coming together to take this fight, win this fight, and get us into Parliament and start fixing this zoo up, because that's what we're dealing with. I'm very angry, folks. I'm, I'm sorry if I don't come across as the, as the nice Christian guy I normally am, but I'm furious by this, because I knew it was coming. They're just upping the ante and they're wrapping it up. But let's get together. Let's beat it. Now, just a reminder to all the Hawke's Bay family, I'm there tomorrow night at Havelock North, at the Lantern Room at the Community Centre at 7 o'clock, and I'll see you there. And tonight we're at Rutherford House in Lampton Quay. Mm -hmm. Guys, keep the faith, stay calm, and I'm reminding myself about that. Stay faithful and, 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 and knowing that we're working hard for you out there. I'm here in Wellington, doing what I'm doing here, and then off to Hawke's Bay tomorrow. And again, I'm starting a nationwide campaign next week, and hopefully I'll be able to come to your town. So all the regional mm -hmm. towns that want me to come through, please get in touch with me. And I'll see you soon. God bless everyone. Take care of each other. Spread the word that the New Zealand Public Party is your voice, is certainly your power, and is most certainly your party. Kia ora.